Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I've got some conquest footage on Tehran Highway. I'm using the Engineer class with the A91 equipped with a holographic sight, foregrip, and suppressor. And here I get a nice little tank steal. My friendly tank was firing on this one and I didn't want them to destroy it because I knew I could successfully steal it. So I went ahead and I just hopped in it waited for them to stop firing at it and then I repaired it. So uh, whenever you get the chance it's definitely a good idea to steal enemy vehicles. I'm not a big fan of people going into enemy deployments and stealing their vehicles. I feel like that's kind of taking it over the line. I don't know. That just seems kind of uh, kind of douchey to me but stealing them when they're on the field of battle and they're abandoned I think that's totally fair game so I uh... <laughs> I don't feel bad about doing it. I mean, I feel bad just because I know that they made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Um, but I don't feel bad on a sportsmanship type level. So I go ahead and I do it whenever possible. If they drop a helicopter down and they're repairing it, I will hop in it if I get the chance. If they abandon a tank or any vehicle, really, I will steal that vehicle and I will try and use it against them to the best of my ability because as long as you're in it and it hasn't been destroyed um, you get to keep it and they don't get a new one so it's a huge boon to your team and to you to steal vehicles whenever you get the chance so there's my tip of the day for you guys hopefully you, you enjoyed it and will make good use of it but here these two guys thought they could get away from me but no sir Ended up getting a cheeky little headshot on that second guy, which uh, was pretty lucky of me and quite unfortunate for him. Whenever I'm at this gas station up here by the sea flag in Conquest Small, I'm always very wary because it can blow up and it can kill tons of people in the process, uh, friendly and enemy alike. So be careful with that gas station. Try not to get too close or destroy it before you do because uh, it will wreak havoc on you and your teammates if you don't. But uh, the next thing I do is I actually shoot that little transport right there, which can be a good idea. I mean, there's a gunner position on that thing, plus it's, you know, somewhat armored. It's a lightly armored vehicle, but it's still yet another vehicle that the enemy could use to their advantage. So I went ahead and I just disabled it so that it would eventually get destroyed. Uh, I didn't want to destroy it just outright because then it respawns faster but this was a funny little situation he was hitting me in the side which does more damage and I was in a main battle tank which does more damage than his main gun so we ended up mutualing each other uh, in tanks which does not happen very often in, in my experience so that was a funny little clip and when stuff like that happens those are like those deaths that I really don't care about because they're just so entertaining. Uh, I can get pretty frustrated sometimes playing first person shooters whenever I die, but uh, if it happens in a funny way, I usually take it in stride. So uh, the funnier the better, I guess. But for the rest of this video, I think I'm on foot. I've cut this video down a lot just because it was kind of a long round that got somewhat boring at times. So I took it from about 15 minutes down to, you know, five and a half minutes. So hopefully you guys don't mind me cutting out a ton of footage, but I felt like it was necessary in order to make this a more entertaining and watchable video. But the A91 has a terrible iron sight, so I definitely recommend using some sort of scope or sight on this at all times. And I personally like the Russian holographic more than the Russian uh, red dot sight. The Cobra for me just doesn't work. The crosshairs are too too large and obstruct too much of my vision. So that's why I use the holographic most of the time on Russian weapons until I'm able to unlock the American red dot and American holographic because I do prefer those. The Russian holographic, it seems to obstruct your vision quite a bit uh, along its edges. Whereas the American one, it, it seems to have a bigger actual uh, viewing area. So, yeah, that's kind of uh, my, my preference there. But that's it for this video. hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of a quick one, I know. But those were all the exciting parts. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.